Greetings, God of Gold here, back at it with a new video uh, in celebration of the 400 subscriber um, count on my YouTube channel. Uh, I just want to say before I start my little gameplay here, um, thank you all for supporting the channel. Uh, whether if you're a new subscriber, an old subscriber, uh, I want to thank you and have a good day. Now, this gameplay will kind of be like a continuation of what I did last time. I did play as uh, Germany, or at least the German Empire, with the Beautiful States mod, but I don't think it has received an update, at least as far as I checked. So, this is all I have right now. Uh, since the DLC is coming out uh, for arms against tyranny uh that is going to be interesting to say the least because i don't know what is going to be offered i think it has something to do with the nordic nations uh, but yeah i hope things work for it and i hope the dlc works but for now uh why don't we jump into the game also, I want to make very clear, uh, yes, I am starting off as the German Reich because it is literally the only way to do the Civil War because, well, if you don't play as the country, you don't utilize its focus, therefore, you can't utilize the Civil War stuff. So, yeah. Uh, the Soviets also have their own Civil War stuff. You can do uh, Nikolai, Bukharin, or you can do the fascist uh, exiles, or neutrality, if you will. It's kind of confusing, but yeah, you could do a lot of different civil wars and stuff like that. Now, this is how I normally set up my front to ensure that there's no breakthrough. Uh, you can do area defense, but if I were you and you're preparing a German civil war, I would just flat out say, uh, make sure that you assign groups accordingly. Make sure that your generals are at least decent. Uh... And then, when you're done, you could just form them into one army group. Uh, we got to get some research going here. I like to do industrial and, uh, well, I wouldn't mind also doing some kind of support group, but researching support might take a little time. So the fastest upgrade I can think of would be just to do the artillery because some forces may have it, because artillery is one of the basic form formations in this timeline. Uh, also, setting industrial ambitions also helps out a lot. Um, usually, if you don't have a lot of industry, you're in trouble because you can't produce a lot, you can't build a lot, you're basically just a sitting duck. Um, navies can also help with that. I also need to check for local supplies. Now, depending on the route that you take, depending on the connections between that land and this one, you need to really ensure that your men are well supplied, because if not, you will lose a lot of benefits. You will suffer more casualties in the long run. It's overall not a good feeling. It's terrible, to say the least. Uh, but yeah, so these fronts that I'm making will be used. Uh, I'm also making more supply lines here and there. Now, if you're going to win a German civil war, this is what you have to do. And I cannot express this enough. Before you do anything, and I mean anything, you need fortification. 
Uh, I tested this out without fortification before. It was an atrocious disaster. No fortification, you are left open. Like, you will have no defense mechanism against the, uh, the Nazi regime. So, once you... Oh, I don't know why the map scrolled there. Um, so, once your equipment stuff is set, make sure you have reserve equipment. I also like to use heavy tanks for early on. Get them ready because, let's face it, heavy tanks are like bunker breakers. Also, I'm just getting rid of these for a sec just so I can organize easier. Now, some may disagree with what I'm doing, which if you have an opinion on what I'm doing, go ahead, post in the comments. But keep in mind, this is how I do it. I'm not here to change others. I'm just here to have fun with the gameplay. Okay, so behave in the comments. Um, I'm going to save the battleships for later. Establish a base of operations. I also need to make sure that the aircraft is well trained because if it's not, we will lose a lot of advantages when it comes to fighting the Nazi regime. Also, it is appropriate to merge these all into one group. I would station them over here just for safety. And both of these groups would be assigned close to the front. Also, I don't like having these notifications up. They're kind of annoying. I like to come back to them on my own, own leisure. So, yeah. Also, when you're starting a civil war, it is highly advised you should never, ever build on their soil. Because if you build, like when you go outside your rim here and you decide, you know what, just build on their soil, guess what? They could potentially use that against you. So it is generally not advised to do that. So make sure all of your aircraft is well trained. And then once your once your entire navy is in one area, you group them together, you can assign a color if you want, and then start exercising them. Now you could start exercising these guys if there's not enough training, but since it's a civil war, you won't have time. Basically. Uh, they also have anti-aircraft, which could be problematic. So it's always best to just capitalize. Like I said, I'm building a couple of south towards Wurttemberg and Bavaria because mainly um, along this riverbank because A, it's close to the border, and B, even if they do advance, you still have this riverbank. So... And I don't think they'll be able to capture this airbase. That is, unless if they cross, depending on the circumstances. Um, you can prepare units ahead of time, but keep in mind, doing this will take up supply. So I would say stick to a low number for now. And then if you're going to do Frankfurt, you could use that for, like, um, well, assigning them to a particular front. It's up to you. And since uh, yeah, the primary front is down here, just select that because we're going to try to cut off Nuremberg. That is basically the main premise of my strategy. The faster you can cut off uh, Nuremberg, the better. Because if you look strategically, this is their only other mean of production aside from here. If you corner them here, they won't have nothing to maintain themselves with. Granted, they might have manpower for a bit, but they won't have enough time to readjust. They will really be hindered. 
if you cut them off down there, of course. Um, and don't worry about uh, supplies being shared with the enemy. That usually doesn't happen uh, with this, unless if they capture it, of course, and then they could use it against you. But stuff like this, like if you're making your own supply towards the front, uh, that doesn't matter. You'll be okay. Like right now, I'm making a supply depot right here in Kassel, which is in the state of Hessen. Um, these guys are positioned accordingly. And when the time comes, the front will be open. And well, you can also have high priority for those. Always, I always need to make sure that this that the infantry is well stocked. Even when you have an abundance of it, even when you're in the green, you should always still supply. Because you never know. And I've learned that the hard way many times. You never know what's gonna happen. Because if a unit is under equipped, you are far more likely to suffer losses. Um, it is also, yep, see, fortifications are being made along this side. I could make one in Hamburg if I wanted to, but I think I'll just stick to these for now because, well, if I'm going to fight the British, I need naval defense. And as you can see, there's the new fleet. It's got the purple color on it. I'll assign it once there's a lot of them, then I'll have them exercise. <laughs> now, granted, you could do it this way, like you could have them assigned to it, which does help at times, but if it's constantly a new ship, sometimes they may not exercise. It's very sporadic, if you will. Um, yeah, so for now, let's prepare for the Civil War, which should be coming up very soon. Ten days, roughly. So, and once the Civil War starts, you got to be ready. If you're even less than ready, you will lose this Civil War because it is very important um, to, to establish the new regime. All right, a couple days. There it is, March 11th, Purge the Nazi Scum, which gives all those. Now, it usually... It is unassigns the generals. I don't know why that happens. Uh, armies tend to do that as well, but whatever. It's It should be okay. Now, you could do urban stuff. Set your fronts. Make sure that you have good river crossers. Make sure you have um, enough force to do it. You could do army innovations to help improve. Uh, also, set your conscriptions to high so that you're ready. And I'm going to create more divisions to help supplement any missing gaps. Uh, also, when it comes to reinforcement rate, you're more likely to use up manpower. Doesn't mean it will happen. I would just stay away from this. Just stick to the recovery. So that this way, you know, the recovery rate helps with maintaining your uh, your stance, your composure. Because uh, no composure, you'll have problems with, um, well, other stuff. All right. So since these guys, I think, are trained enough, what you can do, set the aircraft... Uh, you could also do naval patrol, uh, port strikes, stuff like that to ensure that they are really, really choked. But, like I said, you always got to be careful. Uh, air supply can also help too, um, depending on the circumstance. Logistics supply, same thing. Um, you want to make sure you're concentrating on enough damage as possible on the Nazi regime. All right, so they're going to reorganize. 
Uh, I don't know where, I think this front is heading down here, and then the second front is more up towards here. So once they are organized, we can prepare a charge. But remember, our main goal is to hit Nuremberg, take the state of Franken, then after that, excuse me, take here. But these guys have to hurry because they could take land if left open too long. And if you notice, uh, you might also get this, like check mark, uh, large river crossing, division still preparing. Yeah, you always got to make sure that your units are well prepared. So when you're ready, you can commence attacks properly. Now, if that was in like a yellow or red, uh, that's when I would just be like, no, we're not attacking at that point. Uh, what I'm going to do next is send reinforcements here because I would like to try to commence some kind of cutoff from Nuremberg. And keep in mind, make sure, and I've also learned this the hard way, never leave your front open. Even if you're preparing a cutoff, uh, I tested one out. There was an abundance of units here. You need to spread them out. If you concentrate on one area alone, it won't work. You will lose the edge. So maybe have some forces concentrate on them to keep them busy long enough for you to choke them. But everyone else, scatter across and don't keep them focused in one area. Uh, what I can do is once this unit gets damaged enough, now inevitably, if you're the attacker, you are more likely to suffer more casualties. Uh, just an FYI. So it is usually best that you play it safe. Uh, you can reinforce if you need to, but that will use up your manpower, so be careful. Now, once both these sides fall, which shouldn't be too long, I hope, you will officially surround them. And when ready, you can pin them. Because remember, the more you encircle, the more damage you inflict. But if you lose battles and you're not as equipped, or if you, like right now, see? It needs replenishing. So that's not good. No replenishment means you'll lose the advantage. So you always got to be very careful with that. Um, now, what I'm going to try to do is advance in this sector while also keeping at least one division behind it. Because if you don't, you will lose the cutoff, and you will probably suffer a lot trying to sever them from Berlin. These guys need help, so you're going to need to... And since they're cut off and they're under attack, it is very hard for them to resupply. Granted, like I said, you will inevitably suffer more losses because you're the attacker. Don't worry. Just so as long as we keep our composure and as long as we maintain a solid attack, we can commit a double encirclement, which that didn't work right there, but that's okay. At least we pushed them. So what we're going to do is cut them off from Berlin. Now, they're probably going to send units this way, so it is usually best to either reinforce the front or move a province or two ahead of them. Because if you don't, then that's when problems start to mount. Also, yeah, always thicken the front. If it's loose, make sure it is solid as a rock. Don't, don't advance too fast. Don't advance too far. 
because you will stretch your forces thin, causing you to form gaps like that. So it is always advised to play it safe. Now, granted, since I'm the attacker and I try to outflank them, I have suffered more losses than them, which, like I said, is inevitable. If you're charging at a machine gun, obviously you're going to get shot at. Even with support, it doesn't always help. And fronts like that that are red. Um, now, if I'm not careful, this guy could easily cut him off. So it was best to... And since they're retreating from Nuremberg, we should wait for them to retreat. And then when ready, now we can take the city. With Nuremberg under our belt, and it seems to me that they are trying their luck at some counterattack. We cannot let them. Now, Nuremberg is ours. And we can continue our slow, steady advance. You can also reassign units to help support the front. Like right now, these guys are trying to pull here, but I'm trying to counterattack here. Not only killing off whatever I see in the defense, but also to um, ensure that they don't cut us off. Because if they do that, then this whole offensive, it's a bust, basically. And you lose the Civil War. It's all about being sharp. It is about being quick. And yes, tricks, being a trickster can help a lot. But if you're not careful, you will lose the upper hand. So now what I'm going to try to do is, uh, ooh, reach a defensive bonus of 400. That's really nice. I think, I think that's an in-game achievement. I don't think that's a Steam achievement. Now, as you can clearly see, they are trying to cut off the south. What you need to do is you can reinforce, uh, like you can put forces down here to ensure that they don't, and eventually it, the front will adjust itself, so don't worry. All right, now since that these guys are about to get encircled, now we really need to supply this front and reinforce it as fast as possible. And as you can see, these guys here lost their edge. You can assign them this way and you could do this. Like for example, assign all to this group and make sure all these guys are assigned to that group because if they're not assigned, let's face it, you'll, have a bit of an issue. So uh, I think that's the secondary front. So you can do that. And then these guys do this. And then you can just slowly advance, pick them off, make sure that there's no gaps like that you just saw. And yep, as you can see, they now have suffered more losses than us now. All because of those encirclements. Now you're probably going to lose some factories in the long run. That's okay. Perfectly fine and normal. Some could get damaged. But as that event would say, it's for the correct cause. Now they're probably going to try breaking through this flank. So what is best is... Make sure that they don't get through here, but even if they do, that's okay. You have forts on the other side of the river. So what I like to do is focus your energy 
on, like I said, pinching them right there. You can keep them busy, but if you don't pinch them off, you can't inflict damage on them, therefore you will have a lot of problems. And as you can see, that's about to fall. They're done. You can reinforce here if you want. Take those guys out. You could also do this, take those guys out. But I'll just let the AI handle the rest. And as you can clearly see, they attempted a counteroffensive. Can't let that happen. See? Now we prevented them from reconnecting with them. So now this front is screwed. The only productivity they have, if I recall correctly, is here. This has no industry. So if you capture areas with heavy industry, you're more likely to succeed. So I guess my main goal right now would be to capture Munich or areas around it. So you can commit a cutoff here, and then once you capture this state, a cutoff here. Now, keep in mind, just because you capture the city of Munich doesn't necessarily mean you'll get the industrial benefits right away. You still need to occupy as much of the area as you can. So, like, right now, as you can see, I might be spreading out a little bit. That's okay. I'm going to send in support for this front. Then I'm going to handle him so he doesn't advance right away. I'm also going to send help that way. And now you can clearly see this front has effectively and, com and completely collapsed. Without Munich or the state of Munich, this front is nothing because it has no productivity. If you capture the province where the uh, industry is, they're screwed. They, they can't do anything. They can't fight back. They can't prepare. They can't readjust. Nothing. They, are, they have pretty much toppled. So now, it is safe to say, you won the Bavaria front. But the war is not over. You still need to win the Berlin front, which they seem to have tried to advance this way, but we're going to commit our own offensive. But we also have to be very careful when it comes to casualties. So what we're going to do is actually, I'll cut them off this way. Keep them busy, obviously. Encirclement pretty much in this game is your best friend. Without encirclement, oh no you don't. So now they are a dying pocket. They're about to fall. Uh, let's do maneuver so that we can get to the fronts faster. Uh, we could do bold attack, uh, embrace the future. Uh, new officers gain a chance to begin with that trait. Political loyalty, which could also help. I would say just do bold attack. So that this way, you know, it really works well with unexpected thrust, which is a tactic that some of these generals use. Um, guerrilla fighter, that's for entrenchment, that's defensive, and you're more likely to get that if you hold out an enemy long enough. I'm going to do the four-year plan so that we're ready. And then once this front falls, they're all going to merge up here. 
and I think this needs to be adjusted a little bit. But once Berlin falls and, you know, you capture areas around it, it's pretty much, it's pretty much a success. And it seems that they're trying their luck with up there, but little do they know, this group down here is about to die. And you'll see like helmets flying and stuff like in midair right here, which is pretty cool. Um, I'll just send reinforcements to, be, to this front so that they're ready. And they'll head up there. So now, because there is no port in this area, and because I might take this port because of their vulnerability, I have effectively choked this group as well. And now, since that group is gone, once, well, once it's gone, look at the casualties. Now, granted, mine may look heavy, but compared to theirs, it's not that bad. Now, since Berlin looks kind of weak right now, and actually go for them, and vice versa, for other areas. I actually, if I recall a record, I was actually able to complete the Civil War, because I've done it so many times. I was able to complete it so fast, to the point where Germany, in total on both sides, only suffered less than 200,000 troops lost. But that only works if, well, right now I was a little bit slower because, well, I was just having some fun with it. But that usually happens when it comes to that. Also, if you're fighting along a riverbank, it is always the best idea to develop a bridgehead as fast as possible. That's that's the other thing with this game. You probably see a recurring theme. Is if you cannot, if you hesitate, you'll get nothing. It's like right now, that's a bridgehead. And what I can do is use this guy to support that. These guys kill him. And this could pierce here. So if we have a riverbank to our own, we have the upper hand. It's the perfect plan. Hold on a sec. I'm going to make sure that this guy dies off. All right, so Berlin isn't necessarily close to falling, but it is vulnerable, I would say. And now, uh, let's prepare for this. Oh, those guys are left open. That's not... Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, my God, that is not good. This. So now we are rapidly advancing. Probably going to suffer heavy losses in, the, in some parts in the long run. That's okay. All that matters is we don't drain the manpower so much. It's okay to suffer casualties here and there, but, you know, it's always best to play it safe. Now, I think after the Civil War, I might end the video, but what I'm going to do is if you guys really want to see a part two of this, you're going to have to hit subscribe. Uh, like the video, comment, whatever, 
I'll get back to you. I'm usually pretty active with my people. So if you're curious about a mod, go ahead. Don't be afraid to ask. Now, Berlin is surrounded. Let's set up um, unexpected thrust, I think, would be a tactic. Yep, there it is. And for here, Fortress Buster. And I'll just do Autarky for industrial reasons. Establish a bridgehead there. Now the Nazi regime, once Berlin is captured, that's it. I think the Civil War is done. Which won't be very long, because Berlin is now severed from everywhere else. And there's no stopping me from them. Now, sometimes, depending on your victory points, uh, like your war score, sometimes you can actually, without even taking the enemy capital, you can actually force them to surrender. But that's that's actually rare. That almost never happens. You need to be very lucky and very persistent in order for that to work. Other than that, I think the war is about to end. Peace conference. Yep. Yep. They're done. All right, well, there's the military junta, August von Mackensen. You're under the neutrality, or aka not aligned, or authoritarian ideology, if, depending on what you want to call it. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll get back to you. I'm very active, like I said, and I wish you all a great day. Take care, my friends.